Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and welcome to what is going to be an awesome day ahead. You join me where I'm in the countryside and heading to a pretty cool event and joined with my A35. Yes, today it starts, it kickstarts the start of the Goodwood Festival of Speed. So I'm going to go down there and I'm going to go and see what is going on and basically every year it always is so manic for me there and uh, things are always happening. Essentially in this video will be an addition coming to the, my garage we're going to see all of this because as you may know this is my daily driver at the moment but there is always room for more. So as you can see my AH number plate is still not on this car there has been an absolute serious mess up with uh, my V5s etc so it is still not on there but it will be on their ASAP I've had a lot of people asking me come on Archie what, what is actually going on you don't have um, an AH number plate on there v5 situation it will be sorted this is people think that i've been given this car i've not been given this car i have to pay for this car um so yeah i hope that clears it up this is yeah it's not a press car before people think oh he's just been gone and given a press car from mercedes-benz no absolutely not honestly it is such a good car and we will see what is coming to the garage in today's video if we can go and see uh, what i've got my eyes on but it's just so good honestly driving here and an hour to where i am now it really is just that much fun and this yellow as well when the sun is out like it is this yellow just pops it's just a very very good color for this car but i still need to do a couple of things to it so we are en route to goodwood in my a35 amg mercedes a35 yeah yeah mercedes amg a35 there we go we got it we are heading down and we're gonna have a lot of fun so let me get started and talk to you about what is happening and what I've bought, but we are going to go and see the car today. So an A35, you said I can't get my words up, an A45S is what is coming to my garage. And I've stated for so long before this is happening, I had an A45, right? One of the best cars I've ever owned. So much fun, so practical, etc. Then I moved to the Range Rover Sport SVR and I've had, I've had other dailies like M2 and RS3 and RS4, but nothing really came close to the A45, to be honest with you. Um, and I always said, the moment it's announced, I've got my name down, I'm getting one. It's taking a little bit longer because they've just been developing it. They've really, really put so much technology into this car and making it what it is today and that is the a45s um, and it's going to be amazing drift mode 400 i hope you can see me actually i'm going through a load of trees actually on my way down um 416 brake horsepower it's going to be the best i think that's ever been created in the class to be honest with you i mean i can't see an rs3 getting anywhere near it um, I can't see a lot of these cars getting anywhere near it, uh, but that's all good fun because it means there's more more drag races that we could use for the A45S. Um, but like I did, I did the drag race with the A435, this one, versus the old shape A45, and there wasn't actually much in it. So I thought, can you imagine what the A45S is going to be like? unbelievable considering this is 100 horsepower down on the old uh, a45 etc i've put my name down and i'm going to be buying one when is my one going to be arriving you're probably thinking well, i think it's going to be about november time because they've just announced it and uh, at 2 p.m today funnily enough being thursday uh the car is being unveiled so i want to get up close to it and i want to actually uh, get a proper chance to see it. i doubt i'm actually going to get a chance to go in it today but i just want to go up and actually see it um so yeah, getting a, driving down to this and going to buy that is, is pretty cool. But I've uh, yeah, I bought it, uh, put my deposit down, etc. And uh, I get to spec it myself. So I get to spec it myself, which is very exciting as well. No idea what colour I'm going to go for, um, but it's just such a good little car. Um, and this has made me think. And one of the reasons, which you don't actually know, but I mentioned it and I dropped the hint on my A35 videos before. One of the reasons I bought this was because that gave me one of the first cars in the country, an A45S basically. It gives me one of the first cars in the country um, and that is one of the reasons why I bought this as well as it being a very good daily. So awesome and very exciting and that will go alongside the GT3 RS and who knows what cars I'll have at that point in November. Um, the GT3 RS will still be there but there might be additional cars coming. Uh, but it's all fun and games, isn't it? It's all, it's all awesome. So I'm living my dream and uh, very excited for that car to be coming. But as always, there's amazing cars down at Goodwood and I'm going to show you what is down there as well. Um, 
and we're going to get up close and personal with some very expensive cars and if you don't have a chance to go to Goodwood well I'll try and do my best to film as well as I can this weekend and show you what is around. Okay so you now join me at Goodwood I've just arrived just part of the A35 uh, but I'm actually currently in Bonhams because there's an auction happening tomorrow and uh, I wanted to have a little look around some of the cars which are here there are some awesome cars that I wanted to share literally stopped by walked through the Goodwood house I was like you need to see these because uh, one there's one very 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 special car uh, that we are going to see we are going to go to Mercedes later but there's a few trust me there's actually three that I really want to show you uh, so here at Bonhams um, like I say auction happening tomorrow uh, it's all gonna I believe unfold in here um, and cars are going to be sold for millions and millions and millions one car which is going up in the auction tomorrow and that is a McLaren P1 they are amazing aren't they all very cool to look at as well uh, this one with the orange uh, with also with the uh, uh, black wheels as well and it's when you actually look at these from the back as well where you actually really understand just how insane this rear wing is. I think they're timeless. Uh, they just are mega, aren't they, the P1? All the carbon fibre you've got. I think that, you know, they're, they're currently actually sat on the market at sort of 1.1, 1 1.2. Um, and I think they're gonna sit there just because it's a P1, isn't it? I mean, is a P1 gonna go down? Another car we have here is an SLR McLaren. Very cool. One of the cars which I want to show you, oh, sorry, my hay fever's really bad. Um, this Defender was in James Bond, Spectre, etc. You might recognise it. This is going through the auction. Um, let's have a little look at this quickly. This is one of the cars which I actually really wanted to come and see. Unreal. From James Bond itself, uh, the Defender. Not sure exactly what it's going for, uh, but how cool is it with the sort of rope and the lights on the top? That is uh, absolutely awesome that that was in James Bond. And you can see that it was in James Bond because it was in Skyfall in 2012 and it was in Spectre in 2015. This is the most special car which is actually in the auction. Um, I believe Nigel Mansell's uh, race winning uh, Williams which is awesome isn't it just look at that I mean that is when Formula One in my eyes was just in its best era 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 you know what I mean we're not actually sure for how much this is actually going to be going for uh, but it's going to be in the millions it's absolutely 100% going to be in the millions here you go this is a behind the scenes and how we uh, get our shots isn't it Sam <laughs> your hands in the pocket Okay, so now it's time for me to show you all the Mercedes A45S, the car which I bought. It's just sat behind me and we're going to have a little tour. Uh, we're going to do as best as we can. It's very busy here. So I just want to show you the briefs of the car um, because I do know that, yeah, like I say, it's busy. There's a lot of people around. Um, so we are going to see it, but honestly, it looks amazing. And it's even in the colour of my A35 uh, as well, which is uh, even cooler. The fact that they've got the same colour as that. Someone's just trying to open the boot because I was going to show you that. But let's do the best job we can. It is very busy. So aesthetically, you're probably looking at it thinking this is exactly the same as the A4, uh, A35, but it's actually not. There are a lot of things which are actually different. The uh, exhaust pipes, they're slightly different. I actually quite like those, uh, but the back of it, you can see it's pretty beefy. It looks great in this color. Probably won't get it in this color because it's, uh, yeah, I'd make spice it up a bit. And if we look here, we can see the wheels are slightly different as well. They're pretty cool, but it does look awesome, doesn't it? Look at that. How cool does the A, um, a45s look and then if we have a little look inside we'll be able to see that we've got the really good dash and everything else so the dash is very cool and i love as well you'll be able to see there there's an alcantara steering wheel but look at all the dash now how this is now an a45s and it's all very new very similar to the a35 a45s here we are and then if we have a look at the seats you'll be able to see the seats as well they're very cool so the amg sort of seats and I like all this yellow which is going on here, the yellow vibe in the in there. But yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? And I'm seriously happy that one of these is gonna be coming to my garage um, because I just think it's awesome. I think it's very, very cool. And with the stitching all around the wheel, very cool. Good room in the back. Look how cool the seats are. Look at it from here. And I think the yellow does suit it, but that's not gonna be the spec which I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna do something completely different, probably something completely crazy, or maybe just tone it down and make it all blacked out. But Honestly, I think it's amazing, looks amazing, I love the wheels, 
And there we go, that is a small insight to the A45S. This is gonna be coming to my garage in roughly November time. So very, very excited. And I hope you are too. And if you have any specs that you want to see, just put it in the comment section down below. But honestly, very cool. Should we have a little look in the boot as well? If we have a look, we can open it up. We can see the boot space. Good boot space as well. That's all the main thing, isn't it? Just show you a couple of the cars which are coming past because a couple of the cars are going up the hill. I think this is actually the supercar run, uh, which is happening now, which is cool. Um, so we'll see what's going up and about. And then I'm gonna to talk to you further about the Merc because it was so difficult to film. So I do apologize if that's not come across as well as it should. Here is the new Supra. Is it on? That is the quietest car I've heard all day. McLaren GT coming up the hill. Sure, right? You can see it. Uh, Hurricane Evo. That is just so cool. That right there. Okay, for, for me, for me, for me, it's nearly time to depart, and then we have a proper chat. But. Let's have a little look around the supercar car park. If you're coming to Goodwood, come and have a look because there is so many supercars here. It is unbelievable. Absolutely everything is in here. I've seen a Pista, I've seen, well, you name it. There's a lot of cars. Uh, and they vary, basically. They vary from lots of classics. It's not just supercars, but it's lots. But let's have a little look around. RS, I do like them. And if we walk a little bit this way, we can see a car, a certain car, which uh, you know I'm gonna be biased for, GT3 RS. Really cool to see these out in the, in the flesh. Obviously, got ultraviolet one. Uh, but I do like this spec. I've seen one like this similar. Maybe that is actually the actual car, but cool with uh, green with the black wheels as well. And if we look right here, we have Mr. Shmi 150's G-Wagon, which has recently had a Topaz skin on it. So it is a totally different color and very odd to see a G63 AMG with that livery on it, but it is cool. So not a wrap, everyone, not a wrap. The bumpers as well, they've changed. Uh, we have a lovely R8 over there. But as you can see, there is just cars and cars and cars and cars and cars everywhere. We have a 720, which is just sat there. Walk this way, this is sick. Look at this! That blue just looks epic on an SV, doesn't it? One of the coolest cars in my eyes. Lovely Porsche and Crayon. I like Crayon, massive fan, always have been, always will be. We have a 720S, which is here. I do like that color. I think that color is very cool. I'm a massive fan of these cars, everyone. If you don't know already, I am a massive fan of them. They're just very, very good. And for bang for buck, can you believe Oh, it's actually, it's actually come from France, but can you believe you could pick one of them up for 150 grand? And then we come across this 408 Pista, which is absolutely incredible. And I've seen photos of this online before, but very cool to see it for the first time in person. So you might be thinking, 408 Pista, this is just the same as the others. It's actually not. I think the colour is amazing. But also, which you can see here up close, you can see it's got carbon fibre wheels. It's like the old Jaguars back in the day. They had this sort of racing green. It looks a, a little bit lighter than racing green. Um, but it is amazing, isn't it? And, uh, and then as you can see as well, there's a pinstriping theme going on around the rear diffuser, which then follows down the side as well. Look at it from there. You can see as well the white stripe, which is going through the middle and everything else. Because that, if you ask me, is one of the nicest cars I've seen today, if not the nicest. I'm a massive fan. I'm a massive, massive fan of that. Doesn't that just look insane? Look at it from that angle. Absolutely awesome. So it is time for me to head on my way. It is absolutely boiling hot today. It's just been roasting. I'm sweating and everything else. Um, if you're coming down to Goodwood, just make sure you wear some uh, sun cream, etc. But honestly, it's been an amazing day. And to see the A45S up close, I didn't have a proper, proper chance to film it because it was just really difficult in terms of obviously a lot of people excited, but 415 brake horsepower, it's got drift mode, it's got absolutely everything, um, and I will want to get a chance to do a proper review of that car uh, because it needs it, basically. It needs it and I want to drive it, etc. I think it's going to sound better than this current A35. I mean, that's not hard, is it? It just, just doesn't sound good at all. It's going to have a lot more power, obviously, and the interior, it's nice to see what they've done with the interior. You've got the very nice stitching, you've got the Alcantara steering wheel, very like how my... Uh, um, a45 was I think they really put a lot of work into this car um, so when I got the opportunity to buy one had no choice 
bought one it's going to arrive end of the year so very exciting stuff they've done with that they've just they've absolutely just gone up another level um and there's just so many more features which we are going to see fully i mean i don't actually mind that it's in the yellow i'm just not going to get the yellow myself i don't don't think it makes any sense uh because i would have been used to driving this for sort of six seven months uh to getting a yellow a45 i think well, let me know what you think actually uh put it in the comment section down below what color should i spec my new a45s i don't actually know but uh i may be actually black because my old a45 that was black so that might be a cool theme to go or go something totally different i need to get on the configurator and get going and if we're thinking how much are these going to be it's going to be fifty thousand pound mark isn't it so they're not going to be cheap. They're absolutely not going to be cheap. We know that, um, but we'll find out they're full. I need to fully actually spec one up and see um, before <laughs> seeing how much my spec is going to be because I'm going to tick absolutely everything. I better go. I'm sweating and I need to just turn the fans on because honestly, it is hot in here and good wood is boiling. Let me know what you think I should spec my new car. Get it in the comment section down below because I'm buzzing and it's going to be awesome. Let's just let's just get excited. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all very soon.